G'day viewers, well, I want to continue on overloading this Landis and Gaia E350. The G-Y-R is actually pronounced Gaia, I found out. That's the correct pronunciation of the name. Landis and Gaia, not Landis and Gear. Well, I found out my phase and neutral right here, but the input, the phase is the other way around. So I've got my phase, the neutral is in the phase, and the phase is in the neutral on this um, set up here. So the, and that was cancelling out, and because I was 180 degrees at a phase, this wasn't impulsing it, this wasn't really getting any reading. So if I swap these connections around, my phasing should be right. Ugh, let's go unplug those. Swap them around. Say it's going to unbolt those and swap them on this end, so I just do it from this end here. There we go, now that phase will carry on. That output will be in phase of this phase, and the neutral is in phase of this output. Neutral, so it should work. Right, let's connect everything up and let's see what happens. Okay, power on. A little bit of inrush there. Oh. Did that recognise something? Hang on a minute. Something's wrong. Forgot to plug in my rear round mod. Obviously unplug safety first. Very important when you're working with electronics, especially 240 volts mains. Look at that. One hand. Yes, one hand. Alright. Zero. Power back on. Ooh. Bit of inrush there. Eh? The um, BAZ rung its load wheel. Ah, oh, there you go. VARH and the what hour lights are flashing. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to pulse though. How does that work? K bar is showing the arrow up and arrow that way. Before they were showing this way and that way. As if I was feeding back into the grid or something. 4.8 kilowatts. Is that how much I'm putting in? Is that kilowatt hour? Because the H should be near there, wouldn't it? Not quite see how to, uh, not sure how to read these bloody things. It says KW and the H is all right over here. So I'm assuming that's kilowatt hour on one of the tariffs. A's got zero kilowatt hour, C's got two, uh, 0000.2, 4.8 on this uh, main tariff. Let's see if I can get a current reading. 244.3 volts, that's what I got in. 169.45 amps. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's overloaded already. Frequency is 50 hertz. Let's see. 34108.4 watts. Hmm. Forty two twelve, whatever that's supposed to mean. Zero zero one. If I could find a book on the internet with all those other readings mean, be helpful. Point six kilowatt hour. Show me the amps, the head. Damn smart meter. I want to see the amps now. I'll turn it up more, it's getting hot. FR, 0 for off the 05 R. Yeah, I wish I had a book with this. We had to tell you what all these other readings are. But there's already more than 100 amps going through that. I was expecting this to impulse, but the uh, VARH and the what arrow lights flashing. Yeah, it's getting hot. On the menu, too much glare on this. The one I've locked in. Half smart meter. Turn it down. Variation zero, the VARH lights on there, and turn it up. 
Get it faster. Now, I cannot touch any of these warnings, not even that warning. That's got the potential of the output of that transformer. 240 volts going through this warning here. So be very careful in doing these sorts of experiments. 448 for 12. 1.6 kilowatt hour. We should have a tariff that one's on. Didn't show an A or C or B. It must be another tariff altogether or something. 4.8 kilowatt hours. Okay, boosts on. I don't know, why isn't that one air flashing? Only those lights are going off. doesn't reset, that's all it does. It's going through two menus and that's it. 17, 18, that's the time. Faster these lights flash. Ah, these things are pants, I tell ya. Oh, I've only got 40 volts in there. Hold that. Now turn it menu number two, but it won't stay on there. It auto scrolls and it goes back to default and it's usual bloody display. See, it does that and goes back. Nah, oh, it's bloody technology. Two point nine kilowatt hours. A has got nothing. C has got two point nine kilowatt hours. Don't know what tariff that is. It's not A, B, or C. Now let's reset it again. Refresh. Bloody technology, why well, can't you just left the old meters as they were? It gave me an out rating before, I had 28 kilowatts saw it just before off camera. Yeah, the most I had was the last video, it was about 40 something kilowatts. About 200 amps. Let's reset it again, I gotta hold it. Ah, this thing is pants. Absolute pants. <laughs> Experiment now. I use about it was halfway between those two um, indicators, so I've used about so it's advanced 50 watt hours. I'm plug safety first. This bloody winding get too hot. Now, if this shorts out, not only is it going to be a high current short, so it short this isolation transformer out. I don't want to burn this transformer out. Look how hot that got. I'm not the bloody duct tape under that. Yeah, I need a better way to overload this thing. No hot, no heat in there. Alright. See if anyone else has got any ideas, so that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.